Well, it's 4.30 and I woke up at 3 a.m. crying and thinking about my mom and my sister. My mom passed away onto heaven after hospice in this room. My sister passed away in the other spare bedroom, the two rooms me and my dad don't sleep in, in the house. But I'm gonna go to work today and it's gonna be a good day. And I'm gonna do my best. And if you're going through anything that is hard, just know God is there for you. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Both of my sister and my mom, whenever they passed, both of their prayers were always God's will be done. Of course, they prayed for healing when they found out they had cancer at the beginning. They both had breast cancer. And for both of them, it turned into bone cancer. And it just ate away at them until they were skin and bones. <laughs> and... God, God is the one who got me through. Not a person, not a friend, not my ex, not anyone at work. I went back to work four days after walking in and finding my sister's empty earthly vessel when she went to heaven. And I was at work four days later because I thought that's what you have to do. I thought you have to push through. And I just kept trusting God and people were mean. And I didn't understand it because they knew what I was going through. <laughs> but Starbucks is a rough place. We're busy in the heat of the moment. People are so mean asking for drinks and this drink at the window, da, 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 da. It's just chaotic. It's the job. But a healthy work environment where people are happy and get along makes a difference. If you're a leader at a work environment, you're responsible to make that work environment a happy place. You don't know what your team is going through. You don't know what your team has been through. So just people be nice because you don't know what anyone on the street is going through. And it hurts when people are just mean to people for no reason. <laughs> it's not fair. So if you're a leader, be nice and do not create a toxic work environment for your team because it's not healthy for anyone. And that's all businesses, all companies, all corporation. It's people. People work for you. You don't need to write them up and fire them because they're late a few times if they're struggling. Maybe the leader should stop and support and help and ask them what they can do. So I plead with you, if you're a leader with a group of people, Treat your people right. And I hope you have a good day, whatever you do today. And I love you, but God loves you more.